So someone asked me whether it would be worth paying a business coach $20,000 a year um, because that's what they were presented with. Now, my opinion about that is it depends on how large your business is. I mean, if you're making, you know, 500000 a year, uh, it might be worth paying a, a really, really good business coach that you've heard great things about that have helped your friends 20000 a year to, to grow your business or streamline it, whatever. So I think the absolute number doesn't matter as much as the relative number to what your current income is. And I'm going to give you in this short video um, just like my recommended spending plan for business costs. And, uh, you know, this is again, a short video. So it's kind of a, kind of a rough plan, but hopefully it'll give you some idea. So I would not personally, for most of you who are watching this, I, a lot of my clients, a lot of my students, I would not recommend $20,000 a year on business coaching or even $10,000 a year or even $5,000 a year. I'm like, mm, that's a little much for business coaching for most of you who are earning you know, under, under 50,000 a year in for, for your business, right? That's just not, that's not a good, good idea. Instead, here's what I recommend because business coaching is so you basically need five things. Okay. Five business expenses, right? You've got knowledge, right? Which is, you know, you might buy online courses here, one here, one there. That's much cheaper than, than spending thousands on a business coach. So buy, Online courses are usually somewhere between what fifty dollars to two hundred and fifty or three hundred dollars for, you know. And if, if you've heard good things about it from others, now don't don't. This is be careful about anything that has really charming marketing, like in my opinion, because they spend a lot of energy making the marketing charming, and the energy has been taken away from making the product good. I know, sorry, some of you have marketing char charming marketing, but I don't, and because I spend a lot of energy on my clients and my students and. I don't know. Anyway, I, I just think, especially for solopreneurs, like we only have limited time. So I always am, am cautious when I see charming marketing. So persuasive marketing. So, but you have to, if you hear great things about a course from a friend or several friends, then it's maybe worth it. Right. So, so courses. Number two is accountability, human accountability. You, you, there's no replacement for that, for actually taking course material and implementing it. I mean, you probably have bought online courses and, and haven't implemented. Am I right? I have. Most of us have. Most of us need human accountability to say, all right, listen, this week I'm going to implement module one. Please ask me about it during the week or at the end of the week or whatever. Like you need someone to report back to and say, well, why didn't you? What happened? How are you going to schedule your time? So you do implement module one, right? You, you, okay. So human accountability, my recommendation. The cheapest option, the one I use also is Focusmate because with Focusmate, you get on a session and you tell your Focusmate buddy, listen, I'm going to watch 30 minutes of this course and then spend the next 20 minutes implementing it. Please ask me about it at the end, right? Like the, then they're expecting it from you, right? So Focusmate is five bucks a month as of this recording and super affordable. Beyond that, I would say hire an accountability coach, an accountability buddy. You know, go to Fiverr or, or maybe you have a friend that you can pay to, 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 to keep you accountable. Make sure you do it to ask you about it lovingly, supportively. Okay. So human accountability. I don't think anything replaces that for actually getting things done. So, cause we are tribal creatures. We are, we have evolved to care about people's opinions of us and we can use that in a good way. Right. So number, number one was knowledge. Number two was accountability. Number three customization and troubleshooting. When you're applying knowledge, you are going to come across technical challenges. Um, how do I customize this for my own business? What does this mean for my brand or my strategy or whatever? And so it's really helpful to have some group to go to for customization and troubleshooting. I recommend a group instead of a single, one single business coach's opinion. That's fine. But a group's opinion will give you more examples of how other people are applying it and multiple people, smart people who have tried it and say, well, if you're having this trouble, try this. So there are many business groups you can join. I have one, obviously. I have one called Master Heart and you can join it and, you know, you get access to me three Q and A calls per week with me on Master Heart. You have more customization troubleshooting than you'll ever need, um, just for group members. So. It, it, tons, tons, but I have, there are many others. Um, 
business groups out there. If you are part of one uh, that you really love, you can comment below and share with us which business group you're part of that helps you with the customization and troubleshooting of course material uh, for, for building your business. Okay, so that's number three is customization troubleshooting. You're going to need that. Number four is software. Yeah, you can't just hire a business coach, all this money. No, you got to use, you got to pay for software. Things like booking software, mailing list, um, course delivery. If you deliver online courses, which I recommend that you, you start to create at some point, you might want an affiliate program software. You might obviously your website hosting, uh, and all that stuff. For me, I use one software do almost all of that, which is Simplero. You probably have seen, if you go to my website or at the bottom of my website, you'll see the Simplero link if you want to use my affiliate link. I, I I use it all the time. I love it. I highly recommend it to all my clients. So whether you use my link, doesn't matter. But but yes, it's it's uh, you got to use software, right? To save you a lot of time. And finally, number five, freelancers or outsourcing. Because some of what you're going to need to do is too technical for you or you, know, or you want to save time. And you don't want to be the one to do it all the time. So I use Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. You probably have heard of it um, to do certain graphic design or technical tr troubleshooting or um, like data processing or certain things that are onerous to do. So for all of that, right, it it only needs to cost you five thousand. You know, instead of paying a business coach twenty thousand a year, all of that costs you about five thousand a year and maybe even less. If you are saving money on certain things, like for example, my, my business group is $2,000 a year. And that comes with all the courses you probably need, all the accountability and customization and troubleshooting. Now you just have to pay for, a, for software and freelancing. And that's about two or 3,000 a year. It's up to you how you want to spend that part of it. But it, it really, it's like instead of paying one person a lot of money, it just makes sense to divide up your budget into these different segments so that you can actually fill all your business growth needs. So that's my recommendation. Um, hopefully this is helpful. I know kind of a short video, but wanted to just give you kind of a bit of a landscape of what to look for when you're budgeting for your business needs. So I hope this helps. I look forward to your comments below. If you want to share what um, services and software has really helped you, you can comment below and, and help others out as well. So Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.